Hey guys, this is Ron here. Ron here. Um, I wanted to, I've been doing the periscopes and now people are probably like, well, what's the big picture? What's the point after all the periscopes? Well, let me show you a little bit about where I'm standing over here in Uptown. In my view, this is the Greenway. It goes on for like, I think like 25 miles or something like that, bike and walking and stuff. But, <clears throat> so what's the plan? with all these scopes and what is the big picture so let's say I do two or three of these a day um, the big picture is this it's to give value it's to let people see the big picture with the growth hacking and the 10x and the 80 20 rule of how to spend your time um, the reason I'm not trying to sell anyone real hard on these is that there's a bigger bigger picture okay so for example uh, hey Andrew what's up you should come to uptown sometime uh, so then what I do is I take these and when I'm done with these periscopes, what I'll do often is sometimes I like to just reevaluate and look at my headline again. I like to see how many people I had on live. And sometimes it matters if you do a couple in a row or what time, what time of the day might matter a little bit. Uh, owner, good to see ya. Um, what else here? Then I like to kind of study the re uh, replays and how many people come to replays. I found the ones that I do really, that are really short or really have good headlines, especially the short ones. I get a lot of replays on those, I've noticed. Um, had one the other day where I actually had more, as many replays as I did live viewers. So so what I do is I'll take these and keep in mind I use catch.me, K-A-T-C-H dot me forward slash Ron or all of these videos end up automatically with zero work, it's automated. They will show up on the website, okay? So then I have a, a, a guy on Fiverr. <clears throat> his name is Queensoft on Fiverr. That's his username, Queensoft, um, Q-U-E-E-N, Soft, S-O-F-T. And um, what you can do is what he's doing is he's going to catch that me forward slash Ron or finding all of them, and then he downloads all of them. And then he knows to just upload them all to YouTube. He knows uh, to use the exact same title as a Periscope. He adds on a ronor.com, how to 80, 20 your time, space, pipe, up and down. It's a, called an up and down line, which is a pipe, and then another space, and then 80, 20 rule. And that gets me to show up under 80-20 rule and 80-20 time. 80-20 rule is going to be the big SEO search. So then what I'm going to do is after he uploads 50 or 100 or 200 of these a month, is then what I do is I take that and I would hire other experts to get me relevant backlinks to get those YouTube videos ranked in the search engines. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my blog and use similar headlines and I'm going to embed the YouTube videos into my blog. Uh, the goal is it's nice to have the YouTube videos ranked, but I'm really betting on Google because Google's much bigger. So um, I'm planning on the videos and or blog posts to rank in YouTube. And if the blog post ranks in YouTube, then I get the traffic from the blog post and then the YouTube video is embedded in that blog post. So those are, so the, the goal basically is to come up with good headlines that are attract the right audience. Then it's also to figure out how to rank really well with the YouTube videos, the blog post, so you can get those headlines seen. Headlines get better, more people click on it, more people watch the content. And then over time, more people will share the content, more people will refer other people to the content. So it's a very long-term strategy. Um, there's a lot of steady growth that goes along with it and it's actually a pretty good game plan if you have studied a lot of analytics and studied a lot of data and just find out what actually grows online you can you can always do things a lot faster if you're physically willing to get on the phone and call people or you're trying to you know go around sharing stuff all day or posting stuff all day you can definitely do that I'm just talking about something like SEO who which has more of a slow growth over time and because uh, a lot of this stuff on the internet nowadays, like Twitter and Facebook and a lot of that, it just it gets posted once and then it just usually never gets seen ever again. 
And I don't want to spend all my time doing that because it'll just be gone and vanish, just kind of like Snapchat. So, and I know the same thing happens with Periscope. It's gone within 24 hours, but I let it live on with a legacy by embedding, by putting it on YouTube where it ranks really well fast within a day or two, and then putting in the blog post where it also ranks over a period of time. I've had blog posts that I, I've had, uh, you know, contract for deed, short sale, rent tone, Andrew, good to see you back. Um, um, I ranked number one for contract for deed, number one for short sales in Minnesota for years and years. And rent to own was in the top three as well, lease options. Those blog posts got me traffic for, I tracked it five, six, seven years. I mean, the stuff on Facebook gives you traffic for about 12 hours. This stuff on uh, blogging, on the rankings on Google, were getting me traffic for the seven years since I posted them. And the majority of it was coming from the first three, four years where I ranked at the top. But honestly, after I did some work, I ranked number one on a lot of those for two to three years without doing any extra work. It just stayed in the number one spot. So it eventually dropped down a little bit because I didn't keep up with it over the years. But I should have done that. I should have never stepped away from it. But um, again, I'm just going to work more on the long tails, long tail keywords, and then eventually more on the short tail. Uh, yeah, more how a contract for deeds work. I know I know your dad, Steve, um, knows a fair amount about them. I was just talking to my brother about them earlier. Uh, contract for deeds, uh, how they work. Uh, I mean, mine's the most extensive article I know. I mean, you can uh, search uh, Minnesota contract for deeds, minnesotainvestors.com, and uh, I have like a 10-page article on them that explains a lot of them. Most of it's still up to date and everything, but... Uh, you know, it's maybe a little off topic for this Periscope, but bottom line is a lot of people pay 10% times, sometimes 20% down on the contract for deed. You do that real estate deal and the cancellation process can take about 60 days, a little bit longer than the eviction. But it's a great way for people to own real estate um, if their credit score is not very good right now. And it makes refinancing um, a little bit easier as well. I used to do uh, marketing for probably a little over five years on Craigslist for contract for deeds because we were able to reach um, a little bit different market than all the other thousands of realtors out there. So it gave us a good chance to do leads and all that kind of stuff. So it is related to marketing and leads and Craigslist worked well for me on that. So uh, contract for deeds is another thing and then another concept too is subject to and you guys can look into that as well and I'll teach about it in some of the future scopes. I'll do some future scopes about real estate. I know <clears throat> a lot of people around this particular area know me for marketing and real estate. So I'll do some more on that because the, the real estate marketing, a lot of the tax, tactics I use are very similar to what I use in growth hacking, 80 20 in your time and 10 xing and all that stuff. Everything I would teach about 80 20 and 10 X in growth hacking, it's all a mindset. So it's all about how you look at your results and your data driven stuff and your, the way you allocate your time. I would use the same thing as I would for real estate, um, health, or anything else. I would use the same mindset. You're just you're trying to validate, and you're trying to look at the data as quickly as possible, so you can do what's called a feedback loop and iterate and evolve as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys right now. Um, I'm gonna go work on the computer just for a little bit and just check things out, see what's going on. Wait for my fiber guy who's going to be getting back to me on my 1500 long tail keywords so we can um, start ranking on those every day. Thank you guys for being Meet Mike. Mike's stuck growing his service business. Mike's already wasted too much money and time with failed results. Mike has more cash to invest than time to waste. Mike really values his time. Mike knows marketing is an investment and not an expense. Mike's business has a proven LCV lifetime customer value between $5,000 to $1 million. Meet Bob. Bob is also stuck growing his service business, but Bob first needs to achieve a better product market fit, which is aligned and in high demand with his target audience. Hi, my name is Ron Orr, and I am your solution to being stuck. I can help you refine your positioning in the market. I can help you refine your elevator pitch. I can help you refine your explainer video. I can help you refine your SEO keyword headlines. I'll help you achieve your 10 times growth mindset. We'll focus on measurable results with my proven formulas. Two times traffic, two times leads, two times conversions, two times retention, two times frequency, two times traction, two times LCV, two times ROI. 
My skill set which will scale your business is AB split tests, growth hacking, SEO, search engine optimization, the build, measure, feedback loop, optimizing big data, data driven decisions, reverse engineering your LCV with MAN. Let's grow our ROIs together. What are you waiting for? Contact Ron Orr today, www.ronorr.com. Because your biggest expense isn't marketing, it's opportunity cost. You don't have the time to keep finding out that you don't know what you don't know.